Oh, drink on the house. Sounds great. I'll pour you as many glasses of water as you want. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, that was a good one. Well, here's another good one. <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Welcome back, everybody! We did it! Uh, I had Rob Google like, the best possible way to fight him, and apparently the charge sword does way more damage to him, so that's what I did. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I'm curious, like, what the actual, like, ratio of damage with the regular sword and the charge sword is. Yeah. I feel like you got way more hits than that on him before. Yeah. I wonder if, like, the charge sword does 10 damage, hitting it's, like, 2. Yeah, it could be it. Release her. Release her? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> probably made that joke every time. <laughs> probably. You are the releaser of which Lars has spoken. Oh, Lars! I know Lars! <laughs> Solid, dude. I sense the power that flows within you. I am Vool, one of the seven guardians. Okay, we've. If we have to go through all seven guardians, this is gonna be a long game. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen your power and sense that you may possess the strength to one day crush Metal's ass. However, until that time comes, you cannot take the Merg threat lightly. The Merg? In their crusade to restore Mel's ass to this world, they've already stolen the very crest you seek. You couldn't have told me that before I came down here? <laughs> Listen, I was dealing with a water man infestation. <laughs> I need someone to take care of it. Therefore, I give you the only power left for me to impart. The power of the water scroll. Does it give me the power of Mr. Hands? <laughs> Use it well, Releaser. You must recover the stolen crest. What? Um, <laughs> what? Oh, I bet you that was supposed to be the crest they already took. Oh, maybe. Although usually you give me a heart piece for this. Yeah, usually. <laughs> Travel this path to return to the world above, Releaser. For farewell, Chosen One. I shut out the warp pad. <laughs> Work diligently to build your strength for your encounter with Belsas. Oh shit, he was Sauron. The whole time! Damn! Let's see what the water school does. Level 1 water magic. Water shield plus HP recovery. Oh! Dang. Yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> Against the water guy. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> oh. Really? You put me here? <laughs> <laughs> First you make me kill the water guy, and I make me murder some turtles. Now for the real challenge, Releaser. Turtle fighting. <laughs> Turtle power. It's all the rage where I'm from. <laughs> Master Shredder. I mean, Master Splinter. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know what these are going to be. Yeah. Hang on, can we go swimming now? Hooray! Oh. Go for a nice swim. Yeah. Forget this saving the world stuff. Are you still speaking in tongues?
Why have you come? <laughs> Can't you see I'm not in the mood for mindless chatter? Go away! <laughs> you were gonna do it again, I was just gonna keep going. <laughs> Go away! Why have you come? <laughs> What's over here? It's like grabbing you by the arm. Go away, wait! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Mm. I'm gonna give the controller back to Rob. <gasps> See if you can find your way back to the village. <gasps> I hear the dog making noise again. <gasps> did, did we come here before? Um, I don't remember roulette. Yeah. It can't just be dumb luck. That's how roulette works. Yeah, that's... That's exactly what roulette is. I won 80 times as much on on roulette. Um. Hey, you're the kid from the Clark. Oh, were these guys on the boat? Oh, maybe. This isn't a place for someone your age. It's barely a place for someone my age. You should go. Yeah, you're right. Is let me gamble. Is that Jess? <laughs> <laughs> Not now, son. I'm busy drinking enough liquor to forget how much money I lost. Damn. Sounds like a solid plan. Haven't seen you in a while, kiddo. <laughs> what are you going to have to drink? Wait, don't tell me. Cold milk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very witty. I kill. I'm just so. I kill myself. <laughs> don't don't mind him. He's he's having a stroke. Oh, drink on the house. Sounds great. Heck, I'll pour you as many glasses of water as you want. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that was a good one. Well, here's another good one. Can you pull out a bomb? Oh, maybe. I can. <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Whoa, hey. I don't care if you do have socks older than me. Maybe you should get new ones. Yeah. Or tell me where you buy your socks. <laughs> yeah. How do they hold up that long? What are they made of? Iron! <laughs> What's that rock? Eh? On the left. Eh? I have a thing on it. Eh? 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 That rock with a thing on it? Oh, I thought maybe you could read it. No, uh, doesn't look like it. Alundra can't read. <laughs> that sign can't stop me, I can't read! <laughs> you know, EW says that the sign can't stop her because she can't read. But if she can't read, how does she know the sign was there to stop her? Huh. There we go. Yeah. Now we go back to Jess's house and save. Yeah. To Jess's house. To the right. With my flawless sense of direction in this game. And that one. Right this far. one. Just like the Normandy, Rob. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Boy, Wait, you he, he did the thing. What? Wait, uh, he did the thing from the song. The song from the for the town. Oh. Boy, <laughs> have you talked to Kisha yet, Alundra? Oh. She says that Giles has been saying some disturbing things. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I used to talk to Giles. <laughs> yeah, Bowling gets right up in my face and then backs away when I try to pass. <laughs> he's a dog. Yeah. Give he's, him a treat. He's just curious. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to our uh, canine ASM... Our mukbang stream. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to watch. He's just looking at me. What the hell? 
He wants to listen to this dog eating. <laughs> I don't think he'd do anything. But Matt, but watch your back, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, what's he gonna do? He's a child. He might ask you. You know how do many it. Uh, incredible monsters I've killed already? He might ask you to do his math homework. <laughs> 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 yeah, I. I am always licking the hands of people. <laughs> Don't let touch me too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've told you. Okay. He's just saying the same thing again. <laughs> okay. If you go up the stairs and down to your right. <laughs> then you can he, save. He's so startled by someone who is like six <laughs> inches away from his face. <laughs> Yeah, he keeps going to sniff Rob's hands, and when Rob goes to pet him, he jumps backwards. Or, or even just, like, press a button. <laughs> and he sees the twitch of my thumb. Oh shit, this is the end! <laughs> this man's gonna kill me! <laughs> it's okay, Bolin. This thumb's just for pushing buttons, not for, like, gouging anyone's eyes out. <laughs> Except mine. <laughs> If I ever anger Rob. <laughs> That's right, Bolin. <laughs> I'm full of unimaginable power. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> power! <laughs> I'll just scream that as soon as he gets comfortable with me. <laughs> You'll have the cat on your left and the dog on your right. <laughs> Unlimited power! <laughs> Bolin, watch me use my force lightning. <laughs> a goyle? A g -g 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 goyle? There's a goyle in the village? <laughs> hey, this sounds like a job for all Alundra. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What if it's the elf girl? Hey, maybe, maybe. Hey, baby, wanna make some elf children? <laughs> hey, maybe she's at the top of the stairs. <laughs> I'll leave town. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's in the graveyard. <laughs> hey, baby, you dead? <laughs> hey, hot stuff, you dead? <laughs> Hey, I believe in ghosts if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you do, can you tell me? <laughs> hey, Septimus, have you met the new girl? <laughs> I hear she's a Decepticon. <laughs> While you were gone, Myra went into shock and collapsed. I imagine the same would happen to me if I suffered such a tragic loss. But alas, that's not the end. <laughs> a young girl came to the village, claiming to have the same powers as you. Alundra, I have to talk so slow. <laughs> this is stating the obvious, but you should go there and find out who she is. You didn't say where there is. Myra's house, I assume. Mm. And verify if she truly does possess the power. Verify if she truly does possess the power she claims. I don't know where Myra's house <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, neither do I. It's gonna be a house. Ask the dog. Woof, woof. <gasps> He's right. I am dog. <laughs> Hello, I am dog. Don't mind me. I am organic life form. <laughs> I hear that we have another visitor in town. Be nice to her. Where is she? Oh, sorry, <laughs> Bolin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Undid every bit of progress today. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to us. Come close, Alundra. <laughs> this story isn't for the ears of my grandkids. Oh, it's a good one. Yesterday. While I was taking a walk, I saw Klein hunting with his bow, if you know what I mean. Oh, I th I know what you mean. Unsheathing his arrow? Yep. <laughs> he shot a bird oh, <laughs> a tree. A, a bird? Picked I it up and bit into it like a 
big, ripe, juicy orange. Ugh. Well. <laughs> Hi, Landra. What? You went down to the beach? Aw, oh, man. Why didn't you take me? I would have helped you fight that fucking water thing. <laughs> I've kicked the shit out of that thing a thousand times. <laughs> I'm the twin brother. I can't talk to Klein anymore, Alondra. The hair on my neck stands up whenever he looks at me. There's something too creepy going on behind his eyes, and it's <laughs> and in front of his mouth. <laughs> Yesterday, he was talking to me and accidentally spat a beak in my eye. <laughs> And I'm not sure about the accidentally part. <laughs> kind of because he looked at me and went, ah, <coughs> <laughs> and also because he said regurgitated beak attack. <laughs> hey, baby. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Alondra, what? I said watch out for girls. <laughs> He's been mumbling something about Alondra's tragic fate. Something's happened to him. He's not the brother I loved anymore. He's become obsessed with the gods and with you and about taking you to bed. <laughs> I'm scared. He, he keeps calling you the devil and I think he's into it. <laughs> he bought a whip and some chains and some leather. <laughs> and said he's going to get you real good. <laughs> He's gonna get you there. <laughs> he doesn't, I don't know where there is, Alundra, but you better be careful. <laughs> it's, he's been reading a lot of books, Alundra. Porn books. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I know we have guys. another villain. I know we have another visitor. You've been in this house. You've talked to those kids. <laughs> Alundra, you're going senile. <laughs> Back when I was your age, I screamed. That's the way you went before. I know, but there isn't the many ways to go in the village. That's Jess's house. Yeah, that's it's not. It's a small village. <laughs> <laughs> with a screaming banshee in it. <laughs> I... I really have to wonder, like... Is that actually how crows sound in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember... I don't think I ever heard a crow while I was there. <laughs> <laughs> they all got murdered for video game sound effects. <laughs> There's something very important happening. I need to pause the episode. <laughs> okay, unpause the episode. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the dog brought a toy to Rob. I had to let Rob play fetch for a second. <laughs> Our dog is very. And I sp caught it too. <laughs> 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 Our dog is very skittish around people, and so we're trying to introduce it to Rob. <laughs> If this woman can enter dreams as you, too bad she wasn't here sooner. Damn. Perhaps she could have saved Nadia's life, unlike you. Okay, well, so much for you having confidence in me in contrast to Giles. Oh, this guy. A female traveler has come to the village. <laughs> He's crouching down on a crow. <laughs> Alundra! <laughs> Alundra! <laughs> And she claims to have the same powers as you. Do you know her? Let's find out. Whipped cream <laughs> pouring like CK. So the scene you missed in this house. Mm. Coffee girl comes in and they freak out because they're out of coffee because she can't fall asleep. And then she falls asleep and smacks her head on the table and does that to it. <laughs> and it's really funny. <laughs> I'm coming upstairs and there's nothing you can do about it. I have a love-hate relationship with how open this game must be for that, because that's cool that you can just not see it, but I'm sad we missed it. Yeah. Never. Oh, hang on. If this trick's sticking around, I gotta do my normal. Never underestimate the strength of evil! A single moment of weakness is all that's needed for evil to prevail! She's perfect. 
I must pre you must prevent yourself <laughs> from dreaming at all costs. What? No, you mustn't. You're wrong, Maya. You're wrong. You're so fucking wrong. <laughs> What are you babbling about this time, Septimus? I'm not babbling. <laughs> I'm not babbling. You're babbling. <laughs> Maya just saved the life of Myra. And yet you doubt her? We should take you down to see Maria with Maya and Maya and make sure everything's fine with Maria. My, oh my. <laughs> you and I have lost the power of creation, Beaumont. Yet Jess is able to craft wondrous weapons. Because he's been moved to make them by the spirits of the deceased. Oh? A person who dies is soon forgotten. Unless he leaves a mark, a record of his existence. The weapons Jess makes are a constant reminder of Olin and Nadia. They do not want us to forget them. They want to live on in our hearts and minds. When we create something, we turn a dream into reality. Creation and invention are part of being human. And so is dreaming. If we deny ourselves the right to dream, we deny our own humanity. What the fuck? <laughs> I understand much of what you say, Septimus. But if you die, you cannot create. I really hope Chewbacca's squeaking shows up on the microphone. <laughs> you can't dream. You can only decay into nothing. <laughs> he puts his arms aside and bursts into flames. He's the devil. <laughs> you can't dream. You can only decay into nothing. <laughs> If I must choose between dreaming and surviving, I choose life. I'm Lame. Sean Connery. Lame! <laughs> As would I, Beaumont. <laughs> I'm lamer than even you. <laughs> but what if there was a way to stop our nightmares? <laughs> to turn them back into wonderful dreams again. Like killing Alundra? <laughs> Yes, and drink his <laughs> and drinking his cerebrospinal fluid. <laughs> Let's get him. I know it can be done. <laughs> I know we can end these nightmares now and forever. Pull in. Sniffing the garbage. Oh. <laughs> it can be done, scholar, but at unspeakable risk. You speak of humanity, and yet. Ask to put all of humanity in grave danger! Yes. Your idea is merely foolhardy and simplistic! Nothing more! Look at how big my hair is! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I gotta go be a healer in a different RPG these guys are playing! <laughs> Maya? Mia? I've been saying it, Maya. Maya the Dreamwalker therefore made quite an impression upon arriving in the village of Inoa. She and Septimus still strongly disagree on how to stop the nightmares. But she is reluctant to speak of anything else. Septimus suspects she yet harbors many secrets. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry to wake you at such a late hour. You just came from the ceiling. <laughs> Hello, Alundra. I'm sorry to wake you at such a late hour, but I must ask a favor of you. Okay. Will you show me the face of one writhing in the midst of unbearable pain? Uh, Does he mean you? I maybe. Or rather, will you show me the sweet life that flows through your body like warm wine? Well, don't threaten me with sucker dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a really long time ago, but we had a vision of the future, and there was a werewolf. Oh! Ha ha ha! Show me, Alundra. Is a werewolf gonna suck our dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, yes! 
Boy, what's going on, Alundra? I heard a crash, and then <laughs> wet sloppy. <laughs> Alundra, you and I shall meet again, and next time there will be no one to interrupt our orgy of two. <laughs> <laughs> Or, where'd he go? He's not here. He's not anywhere. <laughs> this is very bad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well. That book is how you save. Yeah. His eyes were not human, Alondra. They were compound eyes, like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> they looked like the end of, uh, Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Christopher Lloyd, that's his name. Yeah. Yeah, Judge Doom, I think, was the character. Mm. I always forget that was Christopher Lloyd. He did a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. He's not dead yet, is he? I don't think so. I'm scared to Google it. <laughs> Every time that happens to me, I'll be like, oh no, he's good, and then like two weeks later. <laughs> yeah. Things are very weirdly silent in the village. <laughs> the people that constantly sing are sleeping. <laughs> good evening, Alundra. Nice of you to visit. <laughs> my to visit my front door? I, oh, I live on your stoop. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up to a very strange sight. My dick was being sucked by a werewolf. <laughs> Klein was walking past my house with a scowl on his face. He's usually such a cheerful fellow. <laughs> what? Klein attacked you? Are you sure it was him? The dick sucker? <laughs> Are you sure he was trying to kill you, Alondra? <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. You're not a bird. I'm gonna go get my dick sucked by him again, and see if he still has murderous intent. <laughs> he could be anywhere now, though. I wonder where he's gone. Alundra, it's Chewbacca. <laughs> Did you hear that? We need to determine where Chewbacca is, and quickly. I shall walk this way. You go in that direction. Shout if you need me. You didn't point. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Over here. <laughs> Back into bed. Back where it's safe. Klein, are you in here? Are you in these bushes? <laughs> Just call me the night mower. Are you in this house? The house is always locked. I bet it's him. <laughs> I bet he locked the door. He's smart enough to lock his front door. <laughs> what the? Why does everybody here have their doors locked? It's not like anybody would try to just wander in like I do. <laughs> what? It's not. What is it? Nighttime? I think this is Klein's house. Oh. Maybe. I don't even need help. But he's not getting it. <laughs> There's a bag on his desk there. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, is it just for show? I guess. It just looked not just for show. Mm. Is it head? A deer with glowing red eyes. <laughs> That's fine. Nothing to worry about there. Oh, the windmill on the roof. I thought it was a horse. Oh. What the? There. I saw Klein over there. After him. Did he go home? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Quite curious. Are they fucking in the bushes? <laughs> hey, you guys, come out of there. 
You know that's poison ivy. <laughs> and I don't care if that's part of it. <laughs> You'll regret it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't go in there. What about in here? Ready? Aha, Alundra. I think Klein is toying with us. Much like beasts treat their prey before the kill. We'd better proceed with caution, my friend. I think they usually just kill it. <laughs> now where you go? Where werewolf? <laughs> where werewolf? <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out in his house. Drink all of his wine. <laughs> his blood wine. <laughs> well, maybe Rob will track down this werewolf next time. <gasps> gasp! Audible gasp! 